Since 9-11, since the hole I've been living in since that day. Who is this man? But I have to say I'm thankful for terrorism. I'm thankful for Osama bin Laden. And what is he talking about? I had sex with September 11th. Just like Al-Qaeda did. Terrorist? Or the most courageous story to emerge from the rubble, 9-11? <laughs> and why is he just now telling us his story? To tell you the truth, I was a cannibal for about nine months. Tonight, or the next two minutes, we go in-depth with a man and a story you will be talking about. Happy 9-11. This is Breaking Story. I'm, I'm a su survivor of. S On September the 11th, 2001, Steven Schneiderberg was trapped beneath the wreckage of the World Trade Center. Steven survived. Though, now he goes by the name... Grubbles. I'm, I'm a some One of the survivors. But his nightmare had just begun. McRubbles was trapped over five years ago. They found me in the rubble a few days ago. Stephen was uncovered by officials this past week in a previously unchecked area of Ground Zero. Trapped in his pain, Stevens did whatever he could to find resolve. A lot of masturbation. I started to draw on the walls with fluids and dripping. I mean, it was just, it was very lonely down there. I had to come up with fantasies. Fantasies and games that would keep him alive. Hiding little pieces of people that were poking out of slabs of concrete. Hope was bleak. But that was a long time ago. Four years. After the body parts became rancid and the maggots started crawling out. Sometimes Black too graphic and disturbing, but a portrait of the human will. I saw rats coming to feed on the decaying carbon. McRubbles may have dined on rat carcass, but he danced with courage. When the rats would eat, eat the people, I would eat the rats. Courageously, he somehow maintains an insightful perspective. Rats are healthy for you. It's like steak but without the fat and even a sense of humor believe it or not underneath new york city there are thousands of interconnected tunnels and uh well it just so happens that my particular rubble bubble was on the way between boston and washington so i had a lot of hobo visitors come by to talk to me a completely delusional reality was his only attachment to sanity. <laughs> but what about his health? Everything is fine with my body. Um, as far as I know, the, uh, you know, the, the, the pain uh, that I've been feeling every time I I, I sit or stand or, or drink or, or swallow food. I feel the sickness, this death, like the oozing black from the, the dead bodies I was lying with for the last five years, but no major side effects. Doctors gave Stevens two weeks to live. Everything is perfect, just like I planned it to be. But it only took a minute with Steven to truly understand a hero. You sit there decaying, dying every day because rubble it was one of the most rewarding and challenging experiences of my life and I've discovered a lot about myself and the human condition. It's called darkness. It's out this Tuesday. Looks stress. Darkness is a chronicle of, of my experience in five years of, of hell. I spent, I spent five years in a terrible place because 
because of September 11th. I lived with September 11th. I, I gave oral s to September 11th. I know September 11th inside and out. Wing, wing, weeble, squangle, weeble, weeble, broken story. You know, there's a media guy. You know where I was for the last five years? Hmm? Wing, wing, weeble, squangle, weeble, weeble. Wing, wing, weeble, squangle, weeble, weeble. Ding dong, weeble, squing dong, weeble. Wing, wing, weeble, squangle, weeble, weeble. Ding dong, weeble, squing dong, weeble. Ding dong, weeble, squing dong, weeble. Broken story. Wing, weeble, squing.